Okay, hey, how's everybody doing today? It's Friday. I'm psyched. The weekend's here again. Love them. <laughs> Love my weekends. The feast is over down the street. They had this year record-breaking numbers. Anyways, it's called the Portuguese Feast and Sacrament of the Blessed something or other. I don't know. Anyway, so in this month's contest, we're going to be doing something a little bit different because I like to try to mix things up. So this month, we're going to be doing a giveaway of a EVGA closed-loop CPU cooler. The system is a 280 millimeter two fan, each fan 140 millimeters, non-RGB. I can show you something here, actually. It's an Acetec design, which has pretty much been around since the beginning of water coolers. Solid copper plate on the bottom. It'll fit pretty much every Intel from, I don't know if it's the old 7-something, all the way right up to the 1700, as well as all AMDs. I know I, I know there's nothing in there for the new AMD that's going to be coming out. There probably will be soon. Acetec design. It does have some RGB on it, which is on the front. There's clear plastic cover on the top, and basically it just says EVGA. It's really nice looking. I like the square design for some reason. Round has been around so much, around, around. So... The tubing on it is all sleeved. The two 140 millimeter fans are non-RGB. They're nice fans. At high speeds, I found it would be a little bit too aggressive. It gives a little bit of a growl. I mean, you can tell when it's revved all the way up, which you normally won't get there. It also comes with a program by a EVGA that allows you to go in and change the color of the RGB on the pump, as well as control the fan speed, the fan curvature, and all that stuff, which we're not going to get into right now because it's not really a review of the product. It also comes with USB at the bottom, which will plug into your board. That is there to give you all the readings and whatnot on what the pump's doing as far as temperatures and other. I've used these before on systems. I've always had really good luck with them. I like EVGA product. We're going to be doing a 280 millimeter radiator with two 140 millimeter fans on it. Just in case whoever wins the contest has a system that won't fit because of of how wide the 280 is, I will replace it with the 120. That's no problem whatsoever. I may even be able to do it with a 360 millimeter. So I try to stay flexible with these things, keep everybody happy, always a good thing. Okay, there's not a lot to get into because pretty much I already went over it. It's, it's basically, it's an AIO. They retail for between, I think it was like 130 and 150, 149.99. I seen on, I think it was Newegg. The radiator itself is all copper. We're not going to get into how many pins there are per square and whatnot, the tubing and all. That's all for reviews. If you've used an a AIO before, then then you have a good idea of what's going on with it. If you haven't, it's really easy to use. It comes with its own thermal paste. EVGA gives very good direction, so I wouldn't worry about that. So anyways, in this YouTube video, in the description down below where it says more, you will find the link to JJ's site where in his chat box you will see the details of how to go about entering. Just follow the directions, keep an eye out for when it ends because I've had in the past people contacting me a week, two weeks later wanting to enter when it was already over. We need to keep an eye on that. and. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to wish everybody luck. Congratulations to whoever wins it. If it's your first time using one and you need any help, contact me. Uh, I would be happy to help you or walk you through or answer any questions on how to install one of these. They're very simple. All you have to do is screw the fans on, find a good mounting spot, put it in. You attach a USB cable. You attach your fans. This is power out. This is the cable for the pump. Yeah, basically this one right here just gives power to the fans on it. And this one on the bottom is what controls your curvature, your fan speed, and whatnot. It goes to a USB. Very simple. And then you have your two fan wires. So, yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap it up. I want to keep this short and sweet. And again, wish everybody luck. And we'll see you in, we'll see you in the, the night of the contest. You will be contacted through Discord or email. It's Friday. I'm psyched. I'm ready to go get work done and have my weekend off. So everybody, you take care and you enjoy.